Hello and welcome to this how-to video on how to apply static grass simply and easily. There are a lot of videos on YouTube showing how to do this already but everyone will have their own unique way and I'm going to display now my way of applying the static grass on this area here that I've already prepared ready for application. So before you start it's best to just mask off the areas you don't want to be applying the static grass for which I've done here. Um, so I'm going to just do a little bit to start off with you um, and then and I'll explain just a simple process of how it's done. Firstly you need to prepare your area just like here. This area is, it's, is sealed. It's a bit rough but it doesn't matter because um, what I've done is I've painted this a brown um, underneath uh, so when any patchiness on the grass doesn't really matter it'll look earth like. So what I want to do is this is going to be an area where my church is going to be sat. I have it here. Um, it's going to be sat somewhere like that. So I want to be applying static grass for a graveyard around it. Now some people would say do apply the static grass around the building leaving the building there but I think it'd be bet it's better so they're not getting anything on and obviously you need to work around it is take the, your building away and do the entire area except where the building is maybe just do it a little bit thinner there um, it will be a graveyard so what I need is quite rough areas around the edge quite longish um, unkept and around the sides here um, around the back of it and what we will be having eventually is a stone wall along here and a stone wall around here so it's not too uh, don't need to worry about going too far with the static grass towards the edge I actually will be going all the way to the edge and then when I come to put a wall in I'll uh, just take away the bits that I don't need so the wall will fit nicely anyway so let's get on first of all you need to use some um, neat PVA glue which I have here in this tub and just a simple brush just for painting it on now it's best PVA does dry quite quick in a warm atmosphere and at the moment it's quite warm up here at the layout so I'm just going to be doing in little sections so it's best just to do a little bit at a time so all we do is just get the brush and just as if you were painting it just apply static grass oh, sorry apply for the static grass your PVA glue now you can be quite liberal because it does dry clear um, it doesn't matter about it running everywhere as you can see you can hear that it's quite rough so there we go and I want it to come up down over this edgeway down onto this gravel here so it doesn't matter about getting it on the ballast of the track so that's nice and thick just a little bit more make sure it's plenty on there and I say it doesn't matter how much you put on you need plenty on there for it to stick well that should be enough for that area okay so now what we need using my homemade static grass applicator we need to ensure that the pin area is in a wet zone uh, so to allow the static to pass through now this is just card so just gently push down there we go that'll break through and I already have some pre-made mix which I used for when I was doing my other areas I've got a thinner mix here and a quite and that's a bit longer that's a, I think that's a six mil that four mil uh, this is two mil I'm going to be applying um, the light thin one first and then later on I'll come back and do it again and add the longer bits to certain sections so <clears throat> what we need to do is just gently apply 
add some of this mix into the applicator. Like so. And off we go. Try to avoid going near your pen, your peg, as you will get a spark off that. As you can see, it's a static grass. It's applying nicely, giving it a nice cover to the area. This is quite good static grass because it gives a nice um, lawn effect to the area. So I'll go back over with a bit of the longer stuff later on and you can just see you can see static dragging along. Uh, it's not to worry about putting in a bit too much on as whatever doesn't stick can be just hoovered back up and recycled for later use. Well, that'll do for that area, just tip that mix back in there. Hey, there wasn't much, didn't you take much? We'll discharge this, there we go. Take the peg out and we'll have a look. So there you go. That's using the thin two mil mix which I've, it's actually a mix of recycled stuff from the areas that I've done previously in the layout. And as you can see, that is a good short layer of static grass. And all we simply do is let that dry and then take up any excess and carry on with the rest of the area. So I'll let that dry and we'll come back when I've done some more of the area. See you in a bit. Right, welcome back. And there we go. That's the entire churchyard area now has the two mil static grass applied and that's now got to be left to dry. There's a few areas where it's a little bit thicker than normal, but what will happen is once this is dried, I will then hoover off what hasn't stuck down um, and probably about what is on there about half of it will come back up and I'll recycle that again back into the tub to use on the other side um, obviously when it's dry I'll then apply the thicker static grass um, in certain patches around to give uh, the mixed look appeal so let's see what it looks like let's put the church on and it's going to go about somewhere there. Oh, that looks about, that looks okay. There we go, I'm quite pleased with that. Uh, roughly, there'll be a pathway to the churchyard gate somewhere around there. So with the walling and everything and the gravestones, that'll be the churchyard, looking good. The static grass I've used by the way, in the it's in these tubs, um, it's a mixture of woodland scenics. That's the thinner one I've just applied. That's actually woodland scenics. Um, can't remember exactly which mix it is. I'll just have a look through my tubs. No, I can't quite remember. It's a mixture of woodland scenics and also um, some of these. It's a mixture of these three blends. Uh, long green, mild green and rich green. Train by train save, these are off eBay. As you see, there's different mixes there. So it's a mixture. This is quite shiny, this what stuff is, um, but it's good for a base coat. So I mixed a bit of Woodland Scenics in with that. And then the longer static grass, which you see here, as you can see, it's different. It's different color um, than that. That is, um, modeling materials static grass flock six mil six mil um i also have a moss green as well um i'm 
might use the moss green on that i'm not sure yet we'll see how that looks like but yeah those are the longer six mil grasses which i've used around the layout on the rock face area and i'm going to be applying it here too i hope you've enjoyed this video i hope it's been quite helpful um static grass is quite easy really and if you want to know about the applicator which i've made which was about four pound look back at one of my previous videos i'll put a link up in the top top corner right corner of this video so if you've enjoyed this video hope it's been helpful please remember to like share and subscribe and feel free to comment below i look forward to reading all through your your comments so from me till next time bye for now thanks for watching bye